Hello, Gemini, and thank you for watching and coming to my channel. I appreciate the love, the subscribe, the like, the share. Um, I'm Mambo Sierra. I am here to do a tea leaf reading for you. And in this tea leaf reading, we are going to look at the energies for October, November, and December. And with that, I also pulled a card for each month. So this is going to be for October, November, and December. So here, let's see kind of what the overall energies is. Um, so it kind of looks like a dinosaur lovers going on here. I get lovers, you know, but this one here, can I get my, this one here looks like a dinosaur and this one here looks like, well, kind of like another dinosaur and dinosaur is, um, a, a, a symbol of delusion, you know, there's a, a living in your own kind of fantasy world with with each other. You know, and maybe that you guys are just trying to look at the good of everything. And um, this is for those who may be in a relationship with someone. Maybe the both of you are not seeing clearly the things that you need to see to, to make this relationship continue as it should. You know, this dinosaur almost looks like he's very forceful to her. This masculine energy. So when I say he, I'm referring to masculine energy. And this is feminine energy. That's what I feel. So it just looks like he's very forceful to her. You know, and she's like submitting to his will almost. I'm getting the very, what I do, what I say goes and... You're going to live in this crazy world with me, whether you like it or not kind of feeling thing. So if this is, um, you know, if this is fits fitting to your situation or anything like that, uh, know that you can get out of it. Okay. Cause I keep hearing spell work. So if this is your situation and you are in, in a, in a situation where you can't see clearly, you know, and where you can't seem to get out of it then there may be some work that has been done, some spell work, some conjure work, any sort of workings that may have been done. And I would um, cleanse myself, get some clarity, you know, over things, you know, and if you are in a relationship, then this may be you being um, stuck in your own world and not hearing or seeing what other people have to say or do um, about anything that you're doing because it may not be <clears throat> the best for you and your life. You know, so somebody may come in and say, oh, hey, don't smoke or drink or whatever. You know, you may be doing that too much. You know, it may be, be being obsessive. You know, maybe there is an obsessive disorder that you continuously do and you know it's bad, but you're at the point where you just don't care. You know, so this may be you if this is not a relationship. This may be this. I'm feeling a masculine energy who may be abusing a substance. So and then in that substance abuse, you're trying to escape reality. Um, yeah. Interesting. And there's a fight, there's a struggle, and there's other people who like you in this place, so they're really not your friends or really not the people that you want to go to because they are, they may be having, doing spell work on you as well. If you're an individual who has substance abuse issues um, and you can't see out of your own way, this may be you as well. You know, it's living in a, a delusional world where you think you're right and, and everybody else is wrong and you're not and you're not facing what actually matters. There's there's no stepping up to the plate. OK, that's the energies for that. And let's go ahead and check out October's energy. Okay, so this is this is I'm getting what I what I feel is a season's changed. And when I look at this, I see a little squirrel, a squirrel preparing, preparing for the winter. 
so to speak. So maybe you're getting your ducks in a row and you are um, gathering all of your supplies and uh, cleaning up, um, you know, doing yard work, doing any sort of thing that kind of prepares you for the next season to come. That is really what I feel like it's that you're doing. Gemini is um, a feeling of laying low, you know, you know, like the like he's chilling right here in the winds and stuff is breezing by him. So maybe, you know, and in that instance, maybe you're laying too low that life is passing you by. So maybe you got to kind of unbury your nuts and, and come up out of there and, and see the view for yourself, you know. Grab life by the cojones and, and say, yeah, I'm going to do it. No matter what, I'm going to do it. Whatever it is that you want to do, maybe you've been afraid to do it. Maybe you have been afraid to do it because somebody has been holding you back from doing it. Or the fear of them has been holding you back for some for some of them, for some of you. Okay, now, so let's, let's go to the card and see what the card has to say about this. So we got the Knight of Air. Intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So in your in your time that you're preparing, remember that remember the creative nature that you have within you to move forward and review every everything that you do carefully. You know, don't just think of it on a physical level. Think of it on a spiritual level as well and think of it on a level of how it applies to your life and how it will it apply to your family, you know, and let in each step that you take thinking that way, let that be the fuel that moves you forward, that gives you speed, that gives you those, um, that helps you to make grand decisions and decisions that you need for your life. Okay, let's go ahead with November. Okay, so this, this I'm getting springtime. The birds are chirping in my, I hear the birds and I see the, the birds chirping. So this is a time for growth here. And then it looks like a little hummingbird right here. A little hummingbird sucking on some nectar. So a hummingbird is a symbol of like hope and love and joy and time of fruitfulness. So I feel like you are, are going to be growing during the season of November. There's a spiritual shift within you that you begin to see everything clearly and that you begin to, to build on what you've learned in October. Let's go ahead and see here. Ooh. Yes, queen of fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Yeah, Gemini, it's time. It's time. There's something about this that's saying, let's move forward with your creative endeavors and push yourself out because you are going to gain that confidence, that wisdom, that intelligence, and you're just going to be graceful and fly through it. And it's going to bring you a lot of hope and love and success as well in your life. The kind that you really want. The kind that you deserve. Okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to go to December and see what we got here. Okay, I heard backslide. And I see this little twirly tunnel kind of kind of going backwards here. Don't go backwards. That is the message for December. You know, you'll make progress through October, November, and you'll see that progress. And somebody may come in and, and try and tweak and change your mind, but don't let them. I'm really feeling like you will you will get through whatever period December has for you. Remember, it's the end of the year, and it's like a test of your will. To see if you've actually learned the lessons that spirit has brought you. Oh, bam. Nice release. Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. Yes, that is perfect for the end of December. 
for the for December releasing releasing all of the illusion that has been created created around you that you may have created for yourself that you may allow somebody else to create for you okay um that spiritual transformation that is key for you not slipping back into old habits and old patterns because to transform is to move forward and that's what we're doing honey we're moving forward Okay, Gemini, I thank you for watching. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the follows, the shares, all of the good stuff. Blessings to you and good luck on your journey. Bye-bye now.